Hello everybody, glad to see you. Today we're going to talk about position control. As we can see here, we are going to have three holes and for each of them, we have used this positioning control. Let's start from this hole on left hand side. We are going to have two position control. The first one, we are going to have a cylinder with a diameter of 0 0.5 back to ABC. A is this plane, B is this plane, C is this plane. We are going to fix this component and we are going to have this big cylinder. And second one, we are going to have a small cylinder with a diameter of 0 0.1 back to DC. D is axis of the first hole and E is the axis of the last hole. As we can see at this figure at the bottom, we are going to have this large cylinder with a diameter of 0 0.5 and this small cylinder with a diameter of 0 0.1 back to DC can move in that large cylinder. For second one, just we are going to have a small cylinder back to DC. It is here, we can see. And for last one, it is the same as first one. In this situation, we are going to control these holes. Here, at top, we are going to have this datum plane A and datum axis B is axis of this hole on left hand side and C is axis of this hole on the right hand side. Here we are going to use two positioning control here as it is highlighted here for this hole and for this large hole at top. Let's see what is going on here. Here for this small hole on left hand side, let's consider the real diameter of the hole is 10.2. What should be the value of the TZ for that? As you can see 10.2 the difference between 10.2 and 10.1 is 0 0.1 and we are going to have 0 0.1 as a TZ, as a bonus. The total shifting, we can say it is 0 0.2. And for second a small hole, if the diameter of actual hole is 10.1, 10.1 minus this 10, it means we are going to have this tolerance and then we are going to have TZ. Total TZ will be 0 0.3. But if the first small hole is exactly at the center, here we are, here we are going to have 0 0.2 as a shifting. It means the center of this small hole on the right hand side can be located in the cylinder with a diameter of 0 0.5 because we have this possibility for shifting here. Let's talk about this large hole. Here, if the actual diameter of the hole is 15.1, the total TZ is 15.1 minus this 15 plus 0 0.15 it is 0 0.25 if the other two holes are exactly at the center we had this shifting here 0 0.2 and here for this small hole on right hand side we can have this shifting 0 0.3 and here we calculate what is the TZ for this actual size 15.1, it is 0 0.25. And we have these two shifting for these two small holes. We are going to consider the minimum value of this shifting. And we can say the location of center of this hole can be in this TZ 0 0.45 as it is highlighted here. Just please keep in mind, for these three holes, the axis should be in that TZ, TZ 
whenever we are going to have the hole with a diameter of 10.2, the TZ for that is 0 0.2. 10.2 to 10.1 it is 0 0.1 plus this 0 0.1 it is 0 0.2 and also for second small hole on right hand side the tz for the whole diameter of 10.1 is 10.1 to 10 is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 is 0 0.3 the axis should be in that diameter in that cylinder but if first hole is exactly at that position this hole on right hand side can be located in this tz 0 0.5 and for last one is the same if the diameter of the hole is 15.1 we can calculate what should be the tz the tz is 0 0.25 it means the axis of this hole should be in that cylinder with a diameter of 0 0.25 but if these two small holes are exactly at the center we can have this possibility for shifting and we can have this total tz for location of this hole we have this tz 0 0.25 here as we have calculated and we are going to consider minimum shifting value for these two holes in order to be sure we can have this amount of the shifting and the total tz for location of this hole can be 0 0.45 for now i would like to close this session in coming session again i'm going to talk about position control thank you for today i hope you enjoy it see you next time